Um, right, so you have to bear in mind that qualified Africans yeah. were not massively present on the ground. It is not true that Gandhi didn't go to fellow Africans. He sought advice from fellow Africans. And there's a, a man in the film. His name is um, Clarence Walker, the plump mm. African who you, you see in there. Yeah. They put him in there to construct a line of lies or misrepresentations about Gandhi. There's another brother in there, Winston James, who used to be here, who I know personally, was a very good Gandhi scholar. He's the one who, in the right at the beginning, talks about um, Garvey, how Gandhi's mother valued him. That brother who turns up in the film. They cut him out of the film, virtually, and put in the, the plump fish face um, with the round glasses no, um, guy. To, just to tell lies, to, to, to misrepresent that, that how Gandhi was. It would, but to me, if you look at because I look at it from two perspectives, yeah. you have lawful and you have legal. Legal belongs to the public, and everything in public is untrue. Black is untrue. It's a dead color, and by the representation of um, supreme law, black is a fiction, it's a prima facie. It has no life. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand so, what you're saying. Can I just interrupt you? Yeah. Who said that? Huh? Who said that? No, let me to, to, to be, we'll no, go no, back. No, not no, 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 but the Supreme Law. We, we Who are. Who fast Supreme Law? Huh? Who fast Supreme Law? This is universal. It's Egyptian. It's universal. Universal to yeah. who? It's universal to who? It's universal to who? And it's served. It's all pretend to have it. No, hang on a minute. It may pretend to you. No, I'm not a prick at all. Yeah, but it's all pretend to me. I know, because what you're pertaining belongs to the public. No, I'm not public. Your education, yeah? It's public. So no, 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 can, can, I, can I just say something? I am not public. Okay, well, let's just, let me just finish yeah. the statement. But can I, wait, can I just say something? Any, yeah. any invocation, any yeah. calling up or calling down of something called universal law yeah. must relate to Africans. And of course, I, well, and hold, on, hold on, hold on, my brother. Let me just, just know, you made a point, you know? Yeah. Um, must relate to us Africans. Yes. And I've never heard anybody say that, Marcus, that the reason Garvey was held to account by the US government was because he violated some universal African legal principle. What they tried to do was to say that he broke American law. And the film itself says that in respect to what they took him to court for, by the end of the trial, there was next to no evidence against him. And that had the judge been fair, we know that, we, we, we have the transcript. Had the judge been even minimally fair, he would never have been convicted. And then, having been convicted on that very small amount of evidence, they, they, they send him to prison for the maximum sentence, which is manifestly unfair. So, how you come to be telling us about universal law, which Garvey, if it exists, and it does exist, cannot have been in violation of, and nobody says he was in violation of that law. So, insofar as he's um, charged with legal offenses, the offenses that he committed or is charged with were under US law and then later under British law in Jamaica. Not any universal African law or, yeah. Oh, sorry, I could come back in. Does somebody want to say something? Oh. Somebody yeah, yes, yes, no, wait. No, no, no. Right, so oh. hold on, in terms of proceeding, this brother is next, then our brother at the back, and then whoever else after that. Yes, brother. Yeah, well, my was I don't know about the scam or like that. But we know about the federal government. Yes. <clears throat> well, Marcus Gary, the only problem I did have with him was a timeline. Mm -hmm. I think he was going to go on too fast. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because he wanted to go on too fast, mm -hmm. it, the whole logistics run at him. Yeah. You understand? Know he wanted to sit and go fast, but he wanted the proper infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. It's he was moving too fast. Yeah. You understand that he did have an urgency and a passion. Mm -hmm. But you know, everything I would have to be realistic. You, know? yeah. you understand? Yeah. And like you said, that the film said, yeah, federal agency. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Edgar Wood. Yeah, I know. He yeah. became the most of two hundred. He became president of America after six over six presidents. Yes. You understand? Yes. That's and true. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The one object to him, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
So this man who was very powerful and like them said, he's very tenacious man. Mm-hmm. He, when he was leaving, he, he, he not left no stone and turn. Mm-hmm. Right? And the aim objective was to deport him yeah. from day one. Yeah. From get the job, I got him over there. That's true. By all, all means necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Then you have seven other agents yeah. with the same guy now. Yeah. Yeah. So, and and, and Ian, which is not mentioned in the film, that the Liberia project, which is not dealt with in the film at all, no, um, right. no, that the, the, the US government instructed the American Liberians to destroy the Liberia project. Yeah, it, didn't, it didn't fail because of maladministration, it, it failed because. because um, um, Americo Liberians in Liberia, under instructions from the British, the French, and the Americans, um, sabotaged it and, and told Garvey, come. Um, and when he came, the, their intention was to steal, um, destroy, and deport. And that's what they proceeded to do. And that was actually very well funded and well-organized project. But this is the whole thing for me. It's not about money. When you understand supreme law, no man can own the planet. It's under management, and that's the eternal agreement under supreme law. Garvey was not aware of these principles. He found out later on when he went to America, which is why he had approached a Jewish um, woman who understood, but she wasn't a banker herself, but she understood that the IRS is basically responsible for universal lands on the planet and to manage it and to upkeep its management and everybody must adhere to those principles. It's not taught in schools, it's not taught in university because uh, university schools and PhDs, it pertains to the public education which you work wherein we are educated to run um, and work for the businesses of people who are involved in the land management. Upstairs, there is no money. Number so Garvey was in the business of a limited you, company you made, and running finances. You, you made a discovery that I suspect nobody else in this room knows anything about, um, and, and I'm not sure where we're going to get to with that today. No, but the point I'm just stressing quickly is just the fact that if he had understood universal principle and but the role of the right. IRS, you, you would understand. No, when you he alone in this court. room today yeah. understand these principles that you're talking uh, about. Too, too, too. So I'm not sure that Garvey, and I certainly don't understand them, I don't really have a clue what you're yeah. talking about, to be honest. So let's leave that, because we're not going to get anywhere with it. But to um, me, the, 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 the idea that you're saying we're going to have a discussion and a uh, debate, it's yeah. a debate. And the debate is that if you look today, um, I had this on my Facebook, I posted it to people where in Garvey was, con- everybody who joined this movement, he converted into one unit of measure, that's an IRS procedure. So somebody had taught him and gone in 50, almost 50, 50 about 60, 50, 60, 40 yeah. percent, that for every unit of measure a black person that's converted, because what that allows you to do by the IRS is to claim on the individual bond of the person. Does anybody know what this brother is talking about? Uh, no, but I'm explaining it, so if you just give me, 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 you have clearly discovered, and you may be onto something, you know. Um, well, it's not discovered, the word works like this. No, wait, it's, it's, it's you, you, you clearly discovered something, you may be onto something, which, which, which but word none word? of us in this uh, room which know word? what this we're talking word. about. <laughs> so it's not that we're trying to shut you up. I'm certainly not. I listen, but we're not going to get anywhere with that today. Maybe um, you can make an agreement and come and talk to us no, one day about. Sure. No, I'm serious. No, no, but hang on, hang on. No, listen, please. I am listening, maybe, but you are not listening maybe, for the fact that you have, to... you have brought me here yeah. and you've sat me down for an hour and yeah. you claim that we're going to have a debate. Yeah. I'm allowed to be heard. No, but, and you are not giving me the opportunity no, but, on the ground. How, how many minutes, how many minutes have you spoken? Huh? How many minutes have you spoken? Because I'm trying to conclude for the fact that. You know, I'm just stating the principle that Garvey didn't fail because of the reasons I believe you are going to give us or anybody else in this room. To me, my principle is Garvey failed on the grounds that he didn't understand the business he was in. All right, full stop. That's it. No, what I would say, right, and I repeat, is what I started to say just now. You may have discovered something that none of the rest of us know anything about. It may even be important. 
So, listen a man, listen a moment, and listen a moment. So, so, one of the possibilities, if you think you have something this important to say, make an arrangement and we'll give you a space to come and talk to us about it. Today, you're not going to get anywhere because none of us know what you're talking about. That's a problem. Okay? All right, so my brother. Wait, just before you go on, mm -hmm. yes, I, I, I agree. But from what you're saying, I find it extremely interesting. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, well, the king, yeah that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm coming yeah. to. Yeah. So I'd like to say, yes, if you, I would like to develop this. So if you want to, you can come and we'll find a spot at one of these meetings for you to do that. Yeah. So I will teach on this principle. I told my friend there, I'll teach, I'll give the foundation, principles of the foundation of this and what it is, and the true interpretation of it. I'll give that piece. That's good. And hopefully I'll do a session. All right, right. Yeah. So, 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 so we're not trying to shut you up. Yeah, we're well I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. We're perfectly prepared, because you may be right, you may be onto something, to come and talk here one day. I'll come and listen. Of course. Yeah, I promise. Yeah, so it's not an attempt to shut you up, it is to say, that you're coming from somewhere that none of us can deal with yeah. and you may have a lot to say about it that we can learn from so we're going to make the, the space for you to come and tell us what you're saying sure. all right so we're going to leave it there today yes my brother no no i'm just uh, i would just like to for us to um applaud garvey you know a hundred years later no one's even come anywhere close to that and you know to honor his spirit and to just you know, yeah. give him a round of applause for, yeah. for that. No, that's that, that, that's that's <laughs> right. But, but this brother here, spirit. this brother here made some important points about important. whether Garvey was moving too fast or not. The thing about the speed at which Garvey moved is that that is the speed at which he had to move. There well, was well, well, the, Edgar Hoover, those kind of people. You, you know, your time is limited, isn't it? Well, it, not just that time is limited. Garvey set the African world on fire. Of course. And, and he, he was doing so on the basis of a plan that was in fundament, worked out in 1914, right? The pieces are there already, right? And, and, and then he goes to the States, and Africans flock to him in the States and elsewhere. Mm. And, and then... He has to put into operation what he planned to do. Yeah, now, how, you, how you, you long, can undo you that. To you can undo that when people are as excited as they were, sure. when people are willing to put the money in, which, sure. which which they were, and so on and so forth. Sure. And you can undo that with not just the money resources which are available, with the human resources, the human skills, and those were not available in our community. Add to that the extent to which all of the enemy inside of the African community and outside of the African community mobilize against him. And it's that mobilization against him, one, and two, the absence of those skills and resources within our community that explains the failure. But, but I was thinking, I mean, after, after 40, after 40, wait, 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 what I'm trying to say, uh -huh. they never have the human resources. They never have the money yeah. to carry people and without money and willing to put money. Yes. But they never have the skill. Yeah. They never have the, the captain to the ship. They never have the thing. Never it is. They never have all them things before. They never have the right. They never, uh, there's only one person that had the access to the ship, which was a, which was a cook. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. all, be, all of the advice he got on the ship was bad. Whether it came from that man or, two, or, 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 or yes, two, two that's what I'm people. saying. And that's what that's why I'm saying I move too fast. Yes, you understand? Because when you spend vast amount of money, yes. with eyes by you, especially federal eyes by you, mm. right? You need to be very careful how you make a decision. Yes, you understand? And you need to check and balance them, check and balance them, and make sure to them right. You understand? Yeah. The fact that you care six times more, sure said. He never even know the value of a ship. That's true. He himself never know the value yeah. of what that type of ship was. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? So, he was moving too fast. Yeah. And he passed, or he never passed. Yeah. You understand? Well, I think the point that you're making about the speed yeah. and the 
excessive speed yeah. is not a bad one. But you have to put beside that the point that I was trying to make in response, which is that he couldn't move any slower because the, the excitement of the mobilization in the moment when he was mobilizing and the fact that the plan already existed meant that he had to try to implement it. And I'm saying the excitement is going to do anyway. What the excitement did was that it gives us the story which we have, which is of an African in the early 20th century um, uh, doing stuff that we need to do, yeah. international shipping, um, international communication, yeah. um, and so on and so forth. Now, um, if he moved more slowly, there's no evidence that it would necessarily have worked, because the same enemies would have mashed up the slow operation that mashed up the quick one. No, 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 no,
organized, put an organization together and gave some direction, which impressed Garvey. You had the words of Blyden, what Blyden was saying, also impressed Garvey. So when Garvey came along, he was, pull, he was pulling on the words of Washington. He pulled on what Paul Coffey did. He pulled on what um, Booker T. Washington did. And then he put it in all in the um, Universal Negro Improvement Association. Now, as you said, yes, when, they look, when we look back at it with hindsight, it may look like your guard was moving too fast because we can see all the pitfalls now. But at the time, I think it was necessary. What Garvey did was more than necessary because here it was galvanizing people, saying, look, you had a white star line. Why can't we have a black star line? Mm -hmm. So people felt, of course, let's have a black star line, right? It said to um, First World War, after the First World War, said to the colonial powers, hand over Africa, mm -hmm. you know? Dare to challenge them. You know, I was making some notes as I go along, and then it says here, it says, give Africa back to black people. And somebody said, that was a ridiculous fantasy. I think it was a Clarence whoever. Yes, yeah. That was a ridiculous fantasy, saying, look, now, God inspired Krumah years later. That's correct. And because of him, Krumah pushed God got independence. We were so-called independence. We know when we say independence, it's in, in, mm -hmm. in court, in, inverted commas. But without the momentum of Garvey, the winner, Kwame Kruger wouldn't have that momentum. Sure. Remember Garvey, you had Edward VIII at the time, Crown Prince, because Garvey's newspaper was being smuggled into South Africa, been smuggled everywhere. And he went down, did a personal tour of South Africa, saying, do not listen to this man. Mm. Saying to black people, do not listen to this man, he's that, blah, 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 blah. So it showed how concerned the colonial powers had become with Garvey. And because of Garvey, I believe you had Malcolm, mm. you had all these other leaders, because if you look at Malcolm's father, he ran a chapter of the UNIA. And so, to me, Garvey, it wasn't a failure, it's a tremendous success because of Garvey. I believe you had the Pan-African Congress movement because it's a direct, you can see the direct linkage on the mind of the people that's coming out. It's all to do with what Garvey did. Today, why, you see all those books are there? There's over 200 books on the table. And you know why they're there? They're all about or have references to Garvey. And that's just a and tip of the iceberg. And not all of it by any means. That's just a tip <laughs> yeah. of the iceberg. So what I'm trying to say, God was such a fundamental, monumental figure. He influenced people well beyond imagination. Even outside of the African race, people was looking for Garvey and putting an idea. So I think Garvey was a tremendous success in that today. We are looking at what Garvey did with wonderment. One, he said the State Department in the United States said, right, we're going to target him. So we did not talk about sabotage, how they threw seawater into the um, mm -hmm. of the board of the, yeah. the ships. Mm -hmm. Direct sabotage, when they couldn't stop him legitimately, they sabotaged all that he did. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the only way they saw they had to stop him. I don't believe that. Huh? That's your opinion. I don't see No, 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 that's no, facts. No, no, there is that. That's facts. That's facts. We told you about it. No, 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 I'm not saying it's going to happen, 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 but I'm saying I don't. Know. Know. Hang yes, and there is you're that. very quick. You're very quick, but you must let me speak. You can't just close my mouth. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't have that. Yeah, 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 come and come the, the fact, I don't say I don't believe it wasn't sabotage. Right. I'm saying I don't believe that, the aspect, because if you think about the businesses and the premises that Garvey had, it was limited companies. And limited companies are legal companies, which is not lawful, meaning that, yes, they can grab him and take him into court. If he had changed his status and became a private person offshore, he would have taken black people through because everybody who joined this movement would, he would apply the same and change the status. He never did any change status no, change, which means that his status remained as a free black slave, a fiction. But look, 
Christ is universal law. As black, well, I say black, but I say as a people, I don't say black people, I say as a people, we continue to make the same mistakes over and over. And people like us who get it, we go forward. We are speaking with how many years of hindsight now, looking back. Yeah. At the time Garvey was living, yeah. functioning, things were what things were. Of course. No, but within the film, I like the fact the film show the fact that, you know, the dimension of white girl that he had as a really close friend. Uh -huh. And then she was sent to England. Mm -hmm. And then it's because I've never seen this film before anyway, but and then again he came to he met some other white woman later on mm -hmm. and he thought she dropped from heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, and then finally, when he finally met the IRS procedures, where he realized that everything he has, he needs to get into that house. He didn't have the contacts to do it, except some old Jewish woman who her family was on the private trust, and he was trying to get um, it solidified, which is where he did a deal with her for 6040. Malcolm X did the same deal for 6040 for one unit of measure to convert. So the aspect of when they go through in business. He didn't. No, 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 but when, but you're saying these things as if it's written down somewhere. So where did Garvey did this? It is, it's just not in the public. It is written, but it's not in the public. You have to be private to see it. You can't, it's not in the public. So where could I get access to this? No, that's why the brother has to come and yes, yes. talk to about yes. his ideas. But, but see my brother, the way I'm coming idea. across, it's the way I'm coming idea. across, it's all that I'm saying, all that I'm saying, I can say, read the Pan African Connection, read Garvey and Garveyism, you know, it's, you can actually see it in black and white. Go to the Kew Gardens and pull out their papers, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. can see it. No, I'm not going to read myself. No, no, what you're saying is like, it's an old there. white woman. Come Coming on, back I don't even know her name. Right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my Facebook and I'm going to get one of the unit, one of the bonds, because you have to convert bonds, which is why they had to collect money. You know, yes, you when he was in prison, people were giving five pence. You can, get the you can raise a bond right in now. court and walk out of court without actually paying a penny if you knew how to raise a bond. The fact that the people had to give five cents, it means he didn't. And his team around him did not know those procedures. But, but Professor, so, can I say one thing? There is no <laughs> progress on this brother's ideas unless he comes and lays them out. But you know, precisely, you know, I would love people. it to come and lay the cars. Yeah. Professor, I think yes. what's, what's very important as well is to realize it was just after the First World War, yeah? After yeah. slavery, blacks had invested their lives and their energy again in a war that was nothing to do with them, yeah? They yeah. came out. They remember before that they were offered the 48, sorry, they were deceived uh, for the 40 acres of the mule. Obviously they didn't get anything. They still went in again to the First World War. When they came out, and you had people like Marcus Garvey saying, we want to now go back to Africa. You think the white guys would have said, well, you know, we've enslaved you for six. So basically we're, we're, we're in a situation where we're not going to let you go. We need you. We need your energy. You're not getting away. Yeah. And even the money yeah, they give us, it's, it's a joke. Five it's their money. Five. It's pennies. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Says so, so. yeah, yeah. Listen, and listen, and the organisation weren't stupid. Look, they made him pay six times more. So look, in a way, that's kind of like an abuse because look, first of all, we put every obstacle in your way, and you still managed to squeeze those five dollars from everyone, and we still took it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But I don't get that's the point. Mm. What point are you making? Well, what, what, point I'm making, what point I'm making is that you, you know you have to you have to think in a different that that, that there's something that wasn't the right way to think because we're not going to give you anything. Yeah. So how can you beat us in our system? We've taken everything from you and now we've created paper money which you have to kill yourself for and you know you're trying no, to use our own money against us. Right. My you, answer to that. Mm, go on. There's the fantasy land and there's the real land. True. Okay. The real land is I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna jump on a bus, I'm gonna walk into the shop and take out some money and buy a product. That's reality. Fantasy land, yes, I can theorize about something, but does it exist? It doesn't exist. So you go out there and carry out the operation and see. You'll fall flat in the face tomorrow. Yeah. No. So, what's the fact that? Sorry, I'm not. So, this brother and then the brother in the cabinet. You see, I've heard that. Yeah. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars.
If we want to, to upset it, then we live in a fantasy. Mm -hmm. If we say what God is talking about, yes. then we work from fantasy. Mm -hmm. You understand? We cannot live, but we cannot win by killing the white man here. Exactly. I agree with that. Exactly. You know, exactly. We cannot win by playing the game of our life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You understand? Know, so the, the only way we can win is to make our own game and make our own rules. Mm -hmm. And we don't know if we play. Mm -hmm. well, that's, that's and this is why we like to call up an African Congress. Mm -hmm. Because then no one. Don't want to let them in the game. That's why they're saying that's what they're saying. Because if they're in the game, they're going to cause problems. Mm -hmm. They're going to want to make the rules. Mm -hmm. And we can't afford to make the rules. Every time they make the rules, it's against us. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, 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 and against nature. Yeah. 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 Well, against the universe. Yeah, they can't make law. Like, we're nature. Mm -hmm. Rules. Yeah. Definitely. Man make rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if we, so, if we don't learn from Marcus Garvey, because mm -hmm. Marcus Garvey sees himself as a fear, that's why I'm back there as a broken heart. And as my own kid. No, I, I, don't yeah. yeah, I don't think Garvey died of a broken heart. Um, no. He had a whole set of health problems. Yeah. And he had two strokes in 1940, the second one killed him. He didn't die of a broken heart. heart. <laughs> I think so, Cecil. Well, well, look, well, well, no, 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 it's a bit of 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 a International Congress of the ne ne Negro People of the World that Garvey organized was in 1938 in Canada. Yeah. Garvey was active. Garvey had an international. Well, people did they in Ca the Af Africans came from the United States and Jamaica and elsewhere to attend the one in Canada because they wouldn't let him into yeah. in, into the U.S. He had his last Congress in Jamaica yeah. between when they threw him out of of, of the states and when he came to. Um, when he came to England, he yeah. organized international congress in Jamaica. We're talking about that last five years of his life. Yeah. It's very important that we don't see Garvey as a disappointed failure. We need to understand that he was running School of African Philosophy, that he was in contact with and organ organizing all kinds of, um, of, of stuff, that he was running a newspaper, The Black Man, that he had an international organization that people were, were, were communicating with, that in 1937, Marcus Garvey had a tour of the Eastern Caribbean. He didn't come back to Jamaica. And he was so popular, so much people came out to, to, to see him in Trinidad, Guyana, and other places in the Eastern Caribbean that the British had to ban him from coming to shore, ashore in some of the places, right? It's not true that he was broken. He was ill, he was having economic problems and so on. His wife um, didn't like the way things were in, 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 in the UK and took the Pitman and back to, 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 to Jamaica, that, that, that is true. Yeah. But we must understand that the Garvey of those last five years was not a defeated, broken man. He wasn't as big as he had been in the early 20s in the United States of America, yeah. but he was certainly wasn't um, defeated and broken. Well, what, do you call, what do you call being a public enemy for 30 oh, years? Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. And one of, these, one, of these, one of these no, days, one of these days, maybe three months, I'll come up on Garvey's last five years so that people... Yes. That's why we say controversial, but the film, I believe, was skewed yes. in such a way to give that impression that by the end of his life, Garvey was dejected, broken, and everything. That's, the, that's what the film, to me, has been... No, but I don't know about that, actually. Well, okay. no, okay. All right. But that's what we came to watch, the film, to say 
Now we'll throw it out there for a minute. Yeah, well, all right. Yeah. So okay. that's what that's, some, some, of, some of those no, that's what I'm seeing. Some of those propositions exist outside that film. I don't yeah. know another film that's, as negative about Garvey as this one. That's what I saw. But the negative ideas that are in there can be found in some of the books. Cronin's book on um, what they call Black Moses is negative, and so on and so forth. There's enough negativity around. Um, Robert Hill who is a big, big scholar, and he really is a genuine scholar, find out enough documents and put them in between boards and so on. He has written negative things about, about Garvey and so on. He inspired that film. 